All right, so one of the things I've learned in doing some rough sword animations for this character here, it's really, really rough. Um, the thing I learned is that it'd be really nice to have to be able to select certain bits of the character's model really easily and quickly. And um, I found something in Magica Voxel which really helped. Check this out. So we're here in Magic of Voxel, and I found a way to basically separate out all the layers for a character, right? And um, what this will allow me to do is quickly select a layer. Like if I want to go to this layer right here. Um, how do I, hold on. I select, unselect, select this layer, do this. Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm editing that layer now. It's kind of confusing, but anyways. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're editing the torso, right? I have these weird names because uh, I have some key translations going on here. So I typed head and I typed header. But anyways, you can tell that's sort of head, torso, left arm, right arm, left, let's actually turn all these off and you can see what we're talking about. There's head, there's a torso, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, sword, and we'll have something else there later. But this is how I kind of, I'll show you how I figured out how to do this. So basically, there's this button right here in Magic of Voxel, which allows you to toggle this between the world view, which is, this is the world view, and this is sort of like the model view, I think, or the voxel view, something like that. Uh, but this is where you're normally at, and you're editing voxels, like if I want to go, like, you know, mess some stuff up here, boom. There, I can edit all those voxels, but only in the torso layer, right? If I try and go here and edit the these arms, it doesn't work. Uh, but anyway, so let's go to, um, let's sort of see how I took the, the main model and separated it out into layers and how this whole layer system works. Basically, you press this button to switch between the layers. And once you're in, a, a layer can have multiple objects, right? So if we go back to the head, no, let's go back to this, to this layer, this extra layer right here. We'll zoom out a little bit. This layer has one thing in it. As you can see, it's this extra copy of the player when I first started editing him. And so here's the process I went through to separate him out into his own separate layers, because this was kind of confusing for me to figure out, uh, because there's really, there. Oh, let me actually show you where the, the great help file I found was. Um, this is the Magic of Voxel community wiki, mvc.wiki, and uh, this is talking about editing layers in the interface, right? So this actually really helped me to figure out what the heck this stuff meant. So you might want to re reference that. But anyways, let's go, um, let's say I want to make uh, the left arm, right? Or the torso, let's, like, let's make the torso again. Um, so I took the original layer, or the original object, right? And I'm, I've got the uh, this empty last layer selected. I basically, when I started, when I when you start out your model, you're gonna have one layer active. The zero layer uh, will be where all your voxels are, even though all of these are like enabled. This is really the only one where there's that has any voxels, right? So I took that original zero layer, made a copy of it. This is technically an object right here. This little bounding box you see that's now white. That that's we that means we have the head layer or the head object selected. This means we have these uh, unnamed objects selected, right? And um, um, so basically, I, I made a copy of the original whole um, all the voxels, the original object. I made a copy of it, put it, and then moved it to. Let's actually, uh, I can't really. Yeah, we can we can sort of like do it here. So I'll show you what that process was like, if I go, no, not plus, um, if I go, just basically I select the the object that I want to duplicate, um, and I go control C, control V, or if you're over here, this edit, you can go copy and then paste, right? We'll have another object, and now it's, it's kind of difficult to see because this object is exactly on top of the other object where it was. So let's move it out of the way and you can see, oh, boom, we have, we actually have two objects there. So that's what I did at first. I took the original object, copied it over here, right? And that allows me to go and create all these separate layers. So let's, let's recreate the left arm 
or the tor let's recreate the torso, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hide the head layer. We're gonna have just the um, duplicate mirror layer, you could call it, visible. Actually, we need to show the head so we can see um, where these this bounding box is. So I'm gonna copy this. I've got the extra mirror layer object selected. Um, sorry, I keep on calling it a layer, but it's really confusing because a layer can have multiple objects, right? So uh, why well, mean to say object? I'm selecting this object, and again, I'm gonna duplicate it. I just did a Control C and a Control V. Oh shoot, sorry. Um, and uh, now I'm gonna move it over. The easiest way I found to move object objects in this world editor is with these axes right here. So you're not moving it on any other axis and accidentally moving it somewhere wrongly. So there, I've got it lined up perfectly with that head layer now. I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna move it to the torso layer, okay? So this is how you would move an object to another layer. You can also select a layer, and then when you control C and control V, you'll paste onto the new layer, that new object. But since we've already created this object in the mirror or extra layer, I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the torso layer by pressing this little button right here. That was actually considered a button press, believe it or not. We're gonna go ahead and hide that extra layer right there. Now we're gonna show the torso layer and we now we actually have two objects here in the torso layer. Um, and so let's go ahead and actually make that clear. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and once again, move this back out of the way so we can see that we clearly have we have two objects now in the torso layer. I'm hiding the head layer. There we go. That's a little clearer, right? So that's that's my original torso layer I created a while ago. If I were going to go and recreate the torso layer, what I would do is just make a copy of the, the mirror, move it back to where it was, and then delete all the voxels that are do not belong in that layer anymore. So sort of a destructive way of creating a, la a layer-based file. If I were going to create this all originally, I would have basically gone and s when I was actually drawing the voxels, I would have made a new object in a new layer and then um, selected that layer and then gone back into the model view and uh, added voxels that way. And that would have put that all those new voxels in that new layer, that new object. But since I'm doing this the destructive way where I'm basically I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the voxels that don't belong here, right? So get rid of the head, get rid of the arms and legs. There. So now that's how we would have created a torso layer. And we can go ahead and delete this extra object. We don't really need it. So let's go back and kind of do an overview here. There's that head. Um, and once again, each one of these layers here that I'm enabling has only one object, just to keep it simple. Um, so technically, um, I want, yeah, this is all I want. I just want to show all, all this stuff right here. And if we were to, oh, we need to have an object selected to go back out. That's kind of a weird thing too. If you get stuck in this world view, and there's no, this button's grayed out. You have to actually select an object to be able to leave. I'm not sure why. But anyways, some stuff I learned today with Magic of Voxel. So what, what I'm gonna do now, now that I have an object able to be separated out into layers, now I can do the whole skinning, right? I wanna have lots of different skins, swords, um, like, uh, armor that you can wear. So when you're, when you're, you're fighting in this multiplayer online arena, you're gaining like, um, some sort of resource and you spend that resource to buy armor so you can buy like a different helmet different shoulder pads different torso that kind of stuff that that'll be really fun um, and what I'll do is I'll create separate mo now that I've got these all separated out in different layers and I can easily you know I could change out a helmet pretty easily and I've gone in and looked at the Voxa Magic of Voxel file format again and then went into the code and Went into model.cpp and I basically got it so it can read, um, it can read layers. What's up with this? There we 
we go. Okay. So basically, it, I already had all this code to read like voxels, size of the whole object, palette data. Now we've got layers too. So we can actually read in layers, see the names of each layer, see whether the layer is hidden. Next, I'll be basically going and adding a tiny little um, three bit variable to every one of the voxels so I can tell what layer a voxel is part of. So I can actually go inside Magica Voxel and say hide that mirror layer and it wouldn't load it into the game. 